Hello, my name is Ilona. Today is still Thursday, but I'm going to post this video on Friday, March 15th, 2024. And I'll be looking at a few countries. I'll be looking at France, Spain and Italy. And uh, the coming weeks, I'll probably look at other countries as well. So just leave a suggestion, although I cannot look at all the countries. So I'll just pick a few that resonate with me. But these are interesting countries. I really wanted to take a look at the energy, what is going on there. So first France, and of course we know they stand up for themselves. The French people, you don't mess with them. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean that things change easily there. So I've talked about this in many other videos about the French energy, but they are really standing up for themselves immediately. And the French farmers are just going strong, refusing to back down. So it's very interesting to see. And of course, other farmers in other countries are, uh, you know, fighting as well we have the belgian people today again the belgian farmers we have polish farmers we've got i'm sure the dutch farmers will uh, let themselves be known again and the german farmers so the farmers are really standing up but in france that just continues that is still continuing and um, other things of course are happening in france as well but what is the energy of france well first of all the eight of cups we've got the four of wands We've got the two of pentacles in the past and we have the six of swords underneath the four of wands. So we've got two eight of cups and the six of swords moving away. These are leaving cards, so leaving things behind. And we say more unity. People are getting together, refusing to stand down, uh, coordinating things. So I think in France, they're really fed up with things and moving away from the old. Very important. So this is two leaving cards, leaving things behind, leaving the old behind. Now for the future, we have the magician and we have the two of wands. So people are standing up for themselves, um, becoming more, you know, stepping into their own authority. But it will probably feel frustrating before things will change. I don't think things will change very easily and people will get frustrated with the two of wands. Like it's not going anywhere and it will lead to more frustrations, more anger. And I think we're going to see that in France. We're already seeing it, but I think it will be even more extreme. But people are getting together the energy is of moving away, moving away from the old, the old systems. People are connecting more with each other, uniting, um, helping, of course, the farmers as well. A lot of French people are completely unsatisfied, you know, not happy with what is going on, not happy with what is going on in the country. Macron is it's really on his last legs. And very interestingly enough, I shared a clip yesterday from Candace Owens talking about the wife of Macron that might be a man. There are allegations and it's very interesting with research about what is going on. And this is now apparently, you know, open and on social media. And I thought that was interesting to see. Macron even responded to it, of course, saying it was false. But let's just say the entire history between Brigitte Macron and of course Emmanuel Macron it's very strange. She was a teacher. She's like 24 years older than it. It's just a very strange situation. So this is interesting to see what will come out out of this. But uh, like I said, there's a leaving energy from France, uh, moving away. There's more connection with people, but it still will be very frustrating. So they're stepping more in their power, but it will also not immediately lead to results. So there's going to be frustration about the situation. So we're going to see more and more in France. Uh, I think people are really fed up with everything. And ultimately, we know this is going to be left behind. <clears throat> this is not going to last that long. So the second country I want to take a look at is Spain. Um, what is going on in Spain? I'm not sure right now what, what is really going on. I haven't really, you know, know everything about all these countries. So I'm just going to take a look at the energy, what I got from the cards. So well, we have the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Three of Wands, which is interesting for the central card. Then we have the Five of Wands in the past. And we have the Ten of Swords beneath the Three of Wands. And for the future, we've got the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. So... This is looking good for Spain. 
Whitehead influences victory. So I do think that Spain is really heading towards something better. Although this could be, this could be later on in the future for Spain. But things are changing. We see the Page of Pentacles. That's like something giving to change things. But the Three of Wands also suggests that a lot of people in Spain are kind of just wait and see what's going to happen. So they're not like the French immediately standing up for all, th for all kinds of things. Although Spanish farmers are also taking a stand. There are people taking a stand there. But the, uh, the energy is the Three of Wands. It's more like waiting and seeing what's going to happen until people are completely done with it. So there's going to be a limit reached with the Ten of uh, Swords. It's like the end of something. And then, then I think this will come in. So the, the people in Spain are more, you know, watching what's going to happen. More, you know, waiting in a way. Seeing how things unfold until the limit is reached. And then it's the end of that. So they're not like the French immediately standing up for everything. Like I said, the Spanish farmers are working hard as well. But this is very interesting to, speak, to see, especially with the Whitehead influences in the future and the victory card in the future. So I do think things will change there as well. So things are happening, but not as radical as it is in France. It's, it's a different energy. But if they've reached a point of no return, the Spanish people will stand up and will be completely fed up with anything. There's, there's this, I have a feeling it's, it's like reaching a certain limit, reaching a certain point. Then the last uh, country I wanted to take a look at, that's Italy. And the interesting thing is that I had to shovel a lot. Like I just had to shovel, 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 shovel before I could pick the cards. It's like there's so much going on there in Italy. It's like moving around. It's just very interesting energy there. And I saw it actually in the cards because we have the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the... Knight of Wands, so it's again, Whitehead influences, oh, sorry about that. We have the Hermit card in the past, but we also have underneath the uh, Page of Wands, we've got the Eight of Wands. These two cards are moving, cards in a way, you know, not like moving away like the uh, Eight of Cups or the Six of Swords. This is movement, as you can see, the, the Wheel of Fortune is moving around. And the Eight of Wands is just, you see, Eight Wands flying through, <laughs> through the sky. You don't know when they're going to reach ground. You don't know where they're going to end up. So this this fast-paced energy. And we have, of course, as the central card, the Page of Wands. I do believe more Whitehead's uh, influences are shown in Italy. A lot of karmic situations are being shown as well, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. also has to do with karmic situations, but it's also doing with movement, positive movement. That's the feeling I'm getting, especially with the Eight of Wands. But things can come up, a lot of things are happening. So it could be like, what's going on? A lot of things happening all at once, things are coming out. I think in Italy there's a lot of movement happening. And then we have for the... Uh, future we've got the six of swords moving away again again a card of leaving but also the ten of wands so this is the ten of wands is not as radical as the ten of swords but the ten of wands is also an ending it's a ten card and obviously the wheel of fortune is also a ten so we have two tens and usually that's the ending of a cycle but this is also that people are you know exhausted um, probably from everything that's happening, maybe financial matters, but they're tired of everything. They want to move away from it. But the Ten of Wands is also an ending, but it's not as radical as the Ten of Swords. But I do believe that people in Italy are exhausted, tired of everything that's happening, all the things that are happening, things that are, could come out. I have a feeling a lot of things are going to come out in Italy, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. There was so much energy there. I had to shuffle so much, so there's so much energy going on there. But it's exhausting. People are exhausted. And it will lead to a different direction, but it won't be uh, like in Spain and in France. They already are doing all kinds of things. I think that France will even be tougher. People will be standing up more and using all kinds of methods. In Spain, they need to reach a certain limit, certain level, and then they're done. And in Italy, people are just exhausted from everything, but they are moving away from this as well. 
but there is so much going on and it's it's people have no idea where they're going and uh, what's happening and that will wake up people as well it's also interesting to see so i see a lot of good things happening i do believe in europe but also around the world we really started to see the whitehead influences different things happening all these things are now coming out important that people read about it people see about it people talk about things like uh, you know uh, i also mentioned my dutch video of course we have now the the wife of macron but it could be interesting that they also should look at america especially with the president you know the couple quite some time ago from mr o and mrs o that's also kind of wondering what that's about but if this is coming out other things can come out and this is really opening people's minds to it that's why this is so important i understand that it's not far enough for a lot of people especially people that have been you know working with this knowing this for so long like well it's not going very far it's still the surface but it's important that they talk about it because that is like you know sowing seeds that can bloom later on people are seeing this reading about this and wondering what what is going on here it opens their minds so this is very interesting. Hope to see you in another video. Bye.